the nastiest bit in the whole thing is that Isolde persuades Brangain to take her place in bed for the first marriage night. She can't bear that idea. Brangain plays the role, and King Mark thinks it's Isolde. I mean, he's doubly disqualified. This is inattention to details, which uh, <laughs> just uh, eliminates it. So uh, the two are having their affair, and uh, King Mark <clears throat> presently becomes aware of it. Now, properly, they should be killed. He can't bear it. He loves them both. This is a noble <laughs> man. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful handling of the problem. So he just says, get out of my sight go away. And they go into the forest. These are the forest years of Tristan and Isolde. They come to a cave, a carved cave, fashioned by the giants of pre-Christian times, back to the old Celtic Germanic times. And over the door entrance it says in inscription, the chapel for lovers. And they go in there, and the whole chapel is symbolic. Every detail of it has a uh, symbolic meaning. Chastity, loyalty, purity, and all this kind of thing. All the terms have new meanings, of course, in this context. And <laughs> where the altar would have been is a bed of crystal. And the sacrament of the altar is the sacrament of sex. Cratian, I mean, uh, Gottfried Strasbourg meant this and the medieval people meant this. The sacrament of love is sexual intercourse. And it is a sacrament. And it is. 